Prominent economists questioned the lack of fairness in Budget 2022, citing the massive disparity in allocations between the Bumiputra and non-Bumiputra communities. Mohammad Abdul Khalid, who was once former Prime Minister Dr. Mahathir Mohamad's economic advisor, said the combined allocation of 345 million ringgit for the Chinese and Indian communities paled in comparison to the 11.4 billion ringgit allocated for the Bumiputra community. That is only around 3% of what the Bumiputra community received. What is important to me, as a Muslim, is the concept of fairness. Where is the fairness, he said on a talk show titled Budget Dua Pulo Dua Pulo Dua, Mampuka Rawat Ekonomi Melayu, organized by Dewan Perniagaan Melayu Malaysia last night. Khalid also said that the budget 2022 allocation for the Bumiputra community brought the total allocation of the past three budgets to some 30 billion ringgit. But what is the outcome? We do not know. Which Bumiputra have been helped? Khalid also took aim at the one-off prosperity tax. Under Chukai Mahmur, as it is called, corporate earnings above 100 million ringgit will be taxed at a rate of 33% instead of the previous 24%. Reaction to the tax was swift on Bursa Malaysia. The total market capitalization of listed companies dropped by 33.8 billion ringgit. Khalid said that the drop in market capitalization also affected government-linked companies. He said the sudden shift in policy had undermined market confidence and called for policy transparency and consistency. The market will tolerate some form of taxation, but not like this. The concept is fair taxation, he said.